I don't know that there's anything much more the church can do. I think this is the problem. Um, I mean, I think the church has tried to keep them as long as we can um, and explore all the avenues that we could. The chain, as we thought of it, was the Bishop of Edmonton sees the David Waddington, the Bishop of London sees Leon Britton, the Archbishop sees the Prime Minister. But I can't really see that either of those two are going to be able to overturn what's already been done and said by the Home Secretary. I would have thought it was unknown and unheard of for the Prime Minister to overrule. Dear Mrs Thatcher, I'm writing to you about my mum and dad. Their name is Christos and Shengul Kiriakou. And we live at Three Winton Avenue. But my dad lives at Ash River Mon Centre now. Why does my dad have to go back to Cyprus? He's not got a house there anymore because only Turkish people are allowed to live there. But we have a house here and my dad works very hard to pay all the bills. Why have they locked him up in Ashford Remand Centre like a criminal? He is the best dad in the world. I'm ten years of age and I like school very much. I want to work hard so when I grow up I can get a good job. They put my mum in Holloway Prison for 24 hours and I was left on my own. But Madeline looked after me. She's our next door neighbour. They said I could stay, but I want to be with mum and dad. And they're being sent back to Cyprus. I don't want to go to Cyprus, because I don't speak any Greek or Turkish. Please, Mrs Thatcher, can my dad come home for Christmas? Mum and I miss him very much. I know you can help us if you want to. Julie. In order to make a protest and a plea to the government, we dressed uh, seven women like a Greek chorus, um, carrying the petition and a wreath to, to turn down the street to make the point much more effective. It is a, a dramatic way to present the human struggle and human injustice that was uh, created by the British government. I dealt last year with several hundred individual immigration cases. Other MPs do the same. There are thousands of people in this country who are fearful of being removed from Britain because of the way immigration laws operate. Their cases are not the same as Catherine and Vassili's. They are different. But I do think there needs to be a proper national debate about the way the immigration laws operate and the sort of fear that exists in many inner city communities because of their operation. Mother and her son came to me in fairly difficult situations. She was due for deportation with her son on the 15th of March. And there were three possibilities facing her. Either she could go ahead and be deported and ask no questions, or the possibility of going underground. And of course, it was going to be very difficult to do that, particularly with the five-year-old son. And the third possibility then was the idea of sanctuary. Sanctuary had been sought by a Cypriot couple some two weeks previous in St. Mary's Church, which is very close by. And in a sense, the seeds of the idea of sanctuary were already sown in my mind. And it seemed a fairly strong possibility that this could be a stand which we could well take. And with a view to giving a witness in order that justice would, seem, would be seen to be done and carried out. Thank you for your letter of the 1st of April about Mr. and Mrs. Vasilis Nicola, who are the subject of deportation orders and who have sought refuge in St. Mary the Virgin Church, Euston. Leon Britton has now written to the Bishop of London, rejecting the representations he has made on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Nicola. He has made it clear that although we will not seek to remove them from a church by force, they will be removed to Cyprus when they eventually emerge. I hope, however, that they will now accept that it is right to come out and return to Cyprus. Yours sincerely. We've explored as far as we feel we are able, and it's gone at the highest level to the man who ultimately makes the decision or can change a decision. And he has seen not to change that decision. And I don't see that any amount of pressure we can put anywhere will alter that. I don't think that there is an end of the road. I've been fighting for this for the last 10 years. If I thought it was end of the road, I should have given it up. I mean, I'm sure Jesus Christ will have done the same thing. This is a just cause, and we must have courage of the justice of our cause and the will to fight it. But where do we go then from here? Well, we have to use our brains. We have to ask consultation by people who know better than us. 
how we can open a debate in the House of Commons, in the House of Lords. Surely it's, 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 it's something that it needs to be an open debate about it, not just uh, in, in hidden offices. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. The question was as follows. To ask Her Majesty's Government whether, in view of the decision by the European Parliament by 135 votes to 28, that the order deporting Katerina and Vasilis Nikola should be revoked. Will they now revoke the order? My Lords, Mr. and Mrs. Nicola, whose case has been carefully considered by ministers of different governments and the independent appellate authorities, were made the subject of deportation orders on the 15th of October 1979. We can see no reason to vary the decision to return them to Cyprus. My Lords, is not the Minister aware of the very strong feelings that exist in this country and in Cyprus about this case? Would the Minister not be prepared to look once more to see whether it would not be to the credit of this country to look at this case with sympathy and compassion yet again? My Lords, every case is looked at on its own merits. The fact is that if in this case we were to do what the noble Lord and others suggest, it would be unfair to a great many other people who have been in a similar position. My Lords, would not the noble Lord the Minister agree that the European decision may well have given us the opportunity to review the tragic human circumstances of many of those people who had to flee from Cyprus following 1974? My Lords, I have nothing to add to what I said earlier. The European Court judgment is not connected with this case. The European Parliament is free to discuss what it likes, but we have to look at each case on its own merits. You have suddenly two sanctuaries in the same street, in Avesho Street, uh, Katerina Vasilis uh, Nicola Sanctuary, which started uh, on the 28th, 28th of February, and uh, the Filipina Mother and her son, which started two weeks after. So you had two, two cases of sanctuaries in the same street. Uh, the Home Office got worried. The only way to, to, to loosen the effect and, and the power of, of that sanctuary it was to divide it and split it. Flight TK605 to Erkund, Cyprus, now leaving at gate 7. Flight BA316 to Lanaka, Cyprus, now leaving at gate 23. This is Kiriakou. This way, please. This way, please, sir. Uh, after five months of sanctuary in the church, uh, Katerina Vasilis were deported. Where is the justice in that? I'm born British, my dad's Greek, my mum's Turkish, I'm born unique. Mum and dad came here to find bread and peace, instead they lived in fear. England's so unique! 